Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you guys a full tour of my apartment here in Phoenix, Arizona. I've been putting this off for a while thinking that I'm going to change things, but honestly, I definitely am not at this point because Colin and I are going to be moving when our lease is up in the fall. And honestly, whose place is ever 100% finished? You're always looking to change things at some point, so it just is what it is, and we have not changed things in a long time. So if you guys are wondering what a one bedroom apartment looks like in the Phoenix area, here it is. So this is the front door right here, and I do have a shoe rack next to it, obviously convenient. Most of those are my shoes though and then Colin's shoes are over here And when you first come in the door you do come out to the living room We've got a Gita here hanging out if you guys have been watching for a while You would know that the apartment was not always laid out like this with the TV over here and the couch over here The TV was actually on this wall over here and the couch was right here facing it Which is actually why we got a couch that had the chase on this side because originally it was up against this wall But then we changed the layout recently this couch is actually from Ashley home furniture, which I'm pretty surprised surprised by. I feel like they kind of have a lot of dated stuff lately, but I really liked this couch when we first got it. And then this is our nice wood coffee table. I love this one because it has so much extra storage on the bottom. So I have those two little baskets and it does match this side table over here. And then these both are from overstock.com. As well as our rug, which has a really cute pattern. It goes up into a little rainbow over here, but you can't tell because the coffee table covers most of it. And if you're wondering why I have this random glass here, this is actually what the cats use to drink their water. I need to fill it up again, but they prefer to drink out of a normal tall human glass and so I leave it on the coffee table so that they'll drink that water instead of drinking our drinks. <laughs> in this corner there's just a few miscellaneous items. I have my yoga mat over here, the blanket basket, this is Rattan from Target and then I do have a little wine fridge as well. We've got all the goods, we've got wine, we've got vodka, all the things a girl needs. I absolutely hate this hideous storage unit over here in the corner. I've literally had this since high school, but it's just practical. I didn't have to spend any money to get something new. I never wanted to commit to buying anything new because like I just said, we're moving in the fall. So I literally just like move every year. I don't want to get anything that doesn't fit the next space that we're going to, but this does work for now. And it is a great storage unit. We just have some board games and then there's like miscellaneous like tech stuff in these little units here. I absolutely love how much light we get in this apartment, even though it is not east or west facing. The natural light is beautiful. I especially love the new living room set up this way because I feel like the light pours in a lot more without having the TV blocking half the window. You just cannot beat the natural light in here. It is just stunning. So this is our TV area over here. The TV is pretty much ancient. It's from like Colin's grandma or something and this credenza is from Ikea. And then over here in the corner we do have a cat tree. This is from Chewy.com. It was actually such a reasonable price. It was only like $30 or $40 which is insane for a cat tree of this size. But our kitties absolutely love it and they love it being next to the window too so even though it might be a little bit of an eyesore it is totally worth it to make my babies happy you will definitely notice throughout this tour that a lot of my home decor is from target if i don't say where it's from you can pretty much just assume it's target it's convenient it's a good price and it's really cute, so why the heck not? All of the throw pillows are from Target. This little like tray thing in the middle of the table is from Target. This vase is from Target. <laughs> this watering can is from Target. Literally everything is from Target. You just cannot go wrong. So from the living room, you turn to the left and it opens up to a really nice open kitchen. This was extremely difficult to find in apartments here in Phoenix. So honestly, the open kitchen is pretty much what sold me as well as having white cabinets. It's just never happens having white cabinets and an open kitchen in Phoenix yeah that's a heck no in my price range I absolutely love that there's a breakfast bar I do wish that it hung out a little further because as you can see it's not super deep so my knees do kind of hit the bar a little bit and if you're wondering where my bar stools are from they're from Target I would say this stuff is clutter and try to get it out of this video for you but honestly this stuff absolutely never leaves this is my work bag so I keep it right here next to the door it's super convenient down here I keep all of my extra drinks so we've got vitamin waters and poppy sodas right now but this is also where Colin would keep his soda or like extra energy drinks pretty much just anything that we can't fit in the fridge will stay right here and then I also keep my workout bag in this corner it's just so convenient to be able to grab and go and head to a workout we keep a little tray here with some keys a letter opener pens just like little random stuff like that right next to the door and guess where it's from Yep, actually going into the kitchen, I have these three photos of me with each member of my family. We've got my mom, my dad, and my sister. All of these pictures were taken in Charleston when we were there for my sister's wedding, and they just look so beautiful. They have just such beautiful colors. I absolutely love them. Like I said, I just absolutely love how open this kitchen is. I love how it looks onto the living room. Like, look at that view. You can actually conversate with your guests. I can watch TV while I'm cleaning. I just love how open this layout is. It's amazing. 
We obviously have the standard kitchen units. We've got the dishwasher, the sink, dish rack. We've got the fridge, the stove, microwave. We've got it all. There's actually a lot of storage in this kitchen. It does have quite a few cabinets, even though it doesn't have any like overhead cabinets over here because it's open, but seriously, plenty of storage. I even have some drawers that are actually empty. And if you're wondering how cluttered my fridge is, um, yeah, it's always this full every single day. There is this wall right here. I assume they would have taken it out if it wasn't structural, so I assume it needs to be there, so it's fine, but it's still super, super open over here. But over here in this corner where the shoe rack and the front door are, if you go over here, is my pantry. This door literally is always open. We never close it because we're grabbing for food so often. Obviously, I love food. And I'm very, very, very aware that we have way too much food in our pantry and it looks extremely chaotic, but I'm hoping to finish this up and not stock so much next time. Since our next place is going to be a lot more permanent since we're actually buying a home. I really want to buy bins that look super cute and aesthetic and organize a pantry. I've just personally never done that before because I move around so often. I don't want to buy storage things for a certain pantry size and then move to the next place and they don't fit. That's just like a huge waste of money. So I wanted to wait until I was in a place that I knew I was going to stay in for quite a few years. And this is the view you get of the kitchen when you're walking in from the front door. Hi Gina, she's literally just following me around this whole time. And if you keep going this way you will run into our washer and dryer the washer is right here we also keep the cat food in this area just because it's a little bit tucked away it's pretty convenient and then we do have a shelf above here for a little bit of storage I've got some blankets extra pillows and the actual stuff for the washing machine the side with the dryer is not as neat and tidy and I didn't want to clean it up because I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like every single day we have so many plastic bags here we've got dryer balls we've got washer bags up here is kind of just random storage I have two coolers and extra set of frying pans and more plastic bags. I try not to get plastic bags. You know that I try to use reusable all the time, but I just keep these here because it's super convenient to just throw my lunch in for work or if I want to clean the litter box. Exiting the washer dryer kitchen area, we walk into what should be the dining room, but as you can see, I clearly do not have a dining room table. This honestly is an amazing space for a dining room. We were so thrilled to have it when we first moved here, but we just never acquired a dining room table. It just never happened. We clearly have a lot of stuff over here and we got to the point where we're like we don't know where else we'd put this stuff and if we did get a table it'd be super cramped because we have to keep this stuff here. This is an ottoman literally full of the most random stuff in my entire life. This is a cardboard box literally just holding the cat litter bag because if I put this on the floor as is, Gita and Mimsy both will chew through it until there are a zillion holes in it so I have to keep it protected and keep it up here. We obviously have the cat box, this is just storage stuff and then our bikes are here because they literally would not let us store bikes on the patio, which is super rude. So we have to keep them inside. And then if you flip to the left, we have a cute little kitty condo. As you can already guess, this is from Target and it's a little kitty surf shop. How adorable, I love this thing so much and they love to play in it. Over here on this wall, we have our like home security unit and our air conditioning. And then this closet right here is what we use as our like kind of front hall storage closet. It just has like sporting goods stuff, heavier coats, vacuum, cleaning stuff, all that jazz. We even have our little mini Christmas tree over here. So as you can see, we definitely just jam this thing full. There's not a inch of unused space. And the reason we use that is like our front hall closet is because the closet that's actually next to the front door we use as our pantry. And so from the main living space with the kitchen, dining room, and living room, we now head into the bedroom. Like I said, this is a one bedroom, one bath. So this is the main bedroom right here. Hey, I absolutely love our bed. I've had this since our first apartment in Des Moines. I got this the second that I graduated and got a big girl job because I had been dreaming of a tufted headboard my entire life. I love simple white bedding and as much as I'd love to just have a beautiful white fluffy comforter that is just way too hot for Arizona. So we have this thin little blanket and this is all we sleep with because it's so hot. I also love my squishable food pillows and I definitely want more. These are just all we have right now. Ma'am. Could you not? The headboard slash bed frame is from overstock.com. That's where I get a lot of my bigger furniture, but then these side tables are from West Elm. They are absolutely gorgeous. They were an investment piece, but I have no regrets. I just absolutely love the wood tone on these. They're beautiful, and we do have a second cat over here. 
Hello. Let's play name where I got my home decor from. And then this is my side of the bed and I get super hot at night. So I actually got this rotating fan to blow on me at night and it's literally the most amazing thing I've ever gotten. And then opposite from the bed area, I do have a dresser over here. This was a black Ikea dresser and I spray painted it white. It was a pain in the butt. Highly don't recommend, but too late now. Some coins, pictures of me and Colin, and then the more like jewelry and hair accessories. I do have a little bit of a crap corner over here that I don't think I've ever showed before, but that is a great place to store the crap because it just stays in this little corner. I love this picture. It's from Urban Outfitters. I think it was the biggest size that they had of this. It was a little bit pricier, maybe like $200 or something, but I absolutely love it and it really pulls the space together. I just think it looks so good above the dresser. You could also do a TV in this area, but we We've never gotten around to getting a second TV while living here. And then around this way is the bathroom area, but before we get over there, there is another closet over here in addition to our normal closet. So in this one is all of Colin's clothes. He's got some shoes in the bottom there, and then these are what he uses as his dresser since I left no room for him and my dresser over here. Those are all my clothes, and then all of his folded clothes are over here. And then on the two upper shelves are Misk bathroom items. So the first one over here is Medicine and band-aids, bath and beauty, travel accessories, and travel liquids. I did have to split these up because I just had so much of each, so that's why we have travel accessories versus travel liquids. Gita, would you like to come out? We need to finish the tour. So this is definitely an Arizona thing that I have discovered, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys have this in the state that you live in, but the sink is separate from the bathroom, and I really, really, really don't like it because look, like I literally just look like I have a sink in my bedroom. I hate that look. I hate that it's just like sitting there. I'd rather there be a door right here to go in like the bathroom suite or something, but it is what it is. So this is the bathroom sink area. I've pretty much never changed this area at all. The sink is awful low here. Like look at how tall that comes up to me. It's really low, I don't know why. Down there we have some nice sized cupboards to store sink stuff, but then we also just have, you know, the regular stuff, toothbrush, hairbrush, soap, perfume that's all my makeup that I even own so I just keep it all right there and then we also do have a medicine cabinet over here which is very convenient for storage this is the bathroom area really nothing special here we've got a toilet we have a rack to store our towels on and then obviously the shower you might be asking why I only have a shower curtain liner and not an actual shower curtain even though I've lived here for two years. And the answer to that question is actually that I just do not want a shower curtain. I actually only want the clear liner. And that's because I actually kind of have an irrational fear that I'm going to be killed in the shower and so I like to see what's coming towards me. The thought of having a shower curtain blocking all of my view and not being able to see anything coming towards me while I'm trapped in a shower absolutely terrifies me. I just can't do it so we only have a clear shower liner because of my irrational fear and then to the left of the sink we have the master closet it's actually a really nice size walk-in closet for an apartment like this down here is where I keep beach towels and extra bath towels and then here is just like all bags this side of the closet is completely mine so these are all of my hanging clothes and then this is all just random storage I think we have like some Christmas ornaments up there extra pillows art supplies random stuff this unit right here actually is not ours this is made out of wood and is built into the closet which I absolutely love and I found these baskets at <clears throat> target that fit perfectly in here I found these right when we moved in and so this is perfect for storing like things like socks underwear things like that this is also like all Collins again because I did not give him a dresser he has a combo of that closet plus all of these baskets and then on this side are all of his clothes kind of hard to get a good view because I can't step back very far but those are all of Collins clothes and then down here is more like a shared area for heavier sweatshirts and then this is all just misc storage these are all like sheets and like bed and stuff like that and then suitcases over here but yeah that is the whole master closet area really nice for the size of an apartment and then the last stop on the tour is the patio so this is our whole patio area. You can see we have so many large windows and doors and that's how we get in so much amazing natural light. I do have these chairs out here and they are from, you guessed it, Target. 
Same with the middle table. It's actually a decent sized patio, but this is all I have out here. I also have a couple plants that are pretty much on their way to dying. I honestly tried to water them every single day, but they just had no chance of survival and this heat is just way too hot. Even if I water them, they were literally just dying anyways. And behind me, we do also have this outdoor closet, which is absolutely amazing for storage. So that's it, you guys. That's my entire one bedroom apartment here in Phoenix, Arizona that I do share with my boyfriend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click subscribe because it really does support my channel. If there's anything you guys saw along the way that you'd like a link to just drop a comment down below And I'd be happy to give it to you as long as they do still make it because a lot of the things in this apartment are pretty old at this point So I don't know if they still have it But with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video Which if you didn't know I post every Saturday, so I will see you next week. Toodles!